Hello, in this video I will show you how to use SQL function over. This function can be used for partitioning and ordering some data sets before some calculation functions will be applied. In my view, this function is more efficient than uh, subqueries and grouping in some cases. In order to demonstrate some examples how order function can be used, let's create a table, table2, and fill in it with the data. In the table, we will have some fake data of orders. In the first column, we will place the order number, then uh, date, customer name, product name, quantity, and price. And here we fill in some fake data. Below in the script, you can see the main query with many calculated columns. I will explain you one by one all those calculations and functions. So, in the first column, we just simply return converted date of the order. Then, in the next one, we just get an amount of the order with simple multiplying of quantity and price. And then starting the most interesting parts. First of all, we use over together with the function row number. In this case, we can calculate the number of our rows. We use a function order by our date. We need it in order to assign row numbers from the beginning till the end, as you can see here. However, if you need to assign it oppositely, then at the end of uh, order by close, you can define the sorting direction, descending, for example, and execute it. Then you can see that uh, row numbers assigned from the end to the beginning. In this case, 19 and 20 in opposite direction because it is the same date. So let's return back. In the next example, we use as well command partition by the months. We need it in order to separate our data set on the different groups by months. Yeah? We use this partitioning specially in order to assign the numbers from the beginning to the end within one month. Take a look that in July we assign the row number from 1 till 7. As soon as new month is started, here the numbering starting from the beginning again and then again. So it means that in this partitioning you can enter any other parameter by which we need to create partitions and uh, assign row numbers for them. The next example we use our function together with partition by and uh, we use aggregation function for some of our columns. In this example, we make partitioning of the data by months. So we split the data by months. Then we order it this data by date and order. And columns quantity and price we multiply and make a sum. In the result, we getting running total per month. Take a look. Here, starting from the first order, 
we get increasing amount from row to row and yeah and here you can compare because in the second column you can see amount for every for every order and here we just sum up it in the running total way and then in the next example we use aggregation function max for the partition months what does it mean it means that we separate our data set by months and for each partition in this group we show uh, the maximum amount in this particular case it's uh, 8000 and as you can check it in the raw data it's really so the 8000 it's the maximum of those and in the same way we can do with a minimum and average you can see the, the result here in the next three columns we do the same aggregation function max mean and average but for the year and uh, since all our orders are within one year only so that's why we can see here the grand total of all orders yeah, here we can see the uh, the maximum order amount per year here we can see minimum order amount per year and average yes and minimum order amount coming from uh, September months in the last two columns you can see example how is possible to make running total for all orders in this case we use uh, over function together with partitioning by year and ordering by date and order and in this case these partitionings work for whole year and since we have only one year in our data that's why we have uh, running total for all orders as you can see here in the result but uh, if uh, we will skip order by function then we get in the last column the total amount per year so uh, that's why you can easily see how this uh, order by close impact on behavior of over function so finally I can say that uh, that over function with partitions and uh, order by can be used in very efficient way in your queries and can replace in many cases uh, the subqueries which you often use or grow by functionality I hope this video you will find beneficial as usually all scripts you can see in the video description take care bye bye Thank you.